If you've been thinking about starting a dropshipping store in 2025, chances are that you've heard of Zendrop. But maybe you're still a little fuzzy on how it works or how to actually get started with it. So in this video, we're gonna break it all down in a super simple step-by-step -step way. By the end of this, you'll know exactly how to set up Zendrop with Shopify, find products, start fulfilling orders, and even level up your store with custom branding. So let's dive in. What is Zendrop and why do people use it? It. All right, let's start with the basics. Zendrop is a tool that helps you run your drop shipping business more smoothly. Instead of using AliExpress and manually fulfilling every order, Zendrop handles that stuff for you. You connect your Shopify store to Zendrop, find the products that you want to sell, and then when someone places an order, Zendrop fulfills it automatically. Here's the key part. Zendrop ships way faster than AliExpress. We're talking a 5 to 15 day shipping compared to 20 to 30 days that you might get from other suppliers. That means happier customers, fewer refund requests, and more repeat buyers. And the process is automated. Once you set it up, you barely need to touch anything. Plus, if you're on one of their premium plans, you can include your own branding with the orders, like thank you notes or custom packaging, which gives you a more professional vibe. Step one, setting up Shopify in Zendrop. Now, before anything else, you're going to need a Shopify store. If you don't already have one, go ahead and head on down to the description below and get started with our Shopify link where you can get started with a free three-day trial and then it's just $1 per month for your first three months after that. This gives you plenty of time to set everything up. Now, once you've got your Shopify store up and running, it's time to install the Zendrop app. Just go to the Shopify app store, search for Zendrop and click add app. Follow the prompts to connect it to your store. After that, you'll want to create a Zendrop account, either the free or Zendrop Plus plan, which comes with extra perks like faster shipping, automatic fulfillment, and branded packaging. And if you use our link down in the description, you'll also get 50% off your first month and $200 in order credits, which is not bad. So I have a Shopify store here that I went ahead and set up actually using storebuild.ai. And in that process, I also got Zendrop set up as well. So here's a store that I have that has Zendrop connected to it. So you have your Shopify store where your store lives and people buy stuff. And then you have Zendrop where you are sourcing your products from that you push over to your Shopify store. Step two, finding products to sell. So this is where the fun starts. Inside of Zendrop, you can search for products just like you would on any e-commerce platform. Let's say you're building a fitness store or a clothing store. You can search for something like resistance bands, or yoga pants and get a list of options with pricing, shipping times, and where the items ship from. Now, the goal here isn't just to pick any random product. Think about what people actually want to buy. Is it trending? Does it solve a specific problem? Will people feel good about spending money on it? These are the kinds of questions to ask. Zendrop also offers a trending product section if you're stuck and you want to see what's hot right now. It's a good shortcut for beginners. Now, once you find a product you like, you can click add to import list. From there, you'll be able to edit everything. The title, description, description, images, pricing, and more. This is important. You don't want to use the generic product descriptions. Take a few minutes to rewrite it in your own voice, highlight the benefits, and keep it super clear. So let's go over to Zendrop here. And if we come over to the left-hand side, we can go ahead and go on find products. Or if we go down below, we can go to trending products. So for here, uh, since we have a clothing store, let's just type in hoodie and click search. And over here on the right-hand side, you can select some filters. So there's like ship from anywhere, ship from US, US, ship from China with all the tariffs going on right now, maybe I'll select ships from US. Now these will be a little bit more expensive costs, but you'll get there faster and you'll avoid tariffs. Over here on the right hand side, you can go ahead and select categories. There's also suppliers, so like specific suppliers as well as a price range. So for example, let's say we like the looks of this hoodie here. What you can go ahead and do is you can go ahead and add to my products. And then this is where you can go ahead and change all these descriptions. So you can go ahead and select the language. You can select the product name. You can also use AI over here as well. There's also different product tags. You can add product type as well as collections. Next, there's a description here. So this is the generic uh, description. You can go ahead and rewrite this yourself. You can use something like ChatGPT, or you can use some built-in AI here as well. Then here's where you can add any different variants like size and color if available. And then here are the images that you can select if you want to 
to import them all. These sort of look uh, all very similar. So maybe you'll go ahead and take off a couple because you don't need 17 of the same exact picture. And there we go. Then to go ahead and publish the store, you can go ahead and click that right there. And now it'll go and push it over to your store. So if we go over to Shopify, we come here to products, we should see, yep, there's that cozy beachside hoodie. And if we click on it, here we go. There is the hoodie that we just selected. Step three, pushing products to your store. So after you've customized your product, it's time to publish it to your Shopify store. All you need to do is just hit the push to store and Zendrop will do the rest. Now your product is live and people can start placing orders. Here's a quick tip. Check how your product looks on both desktop and mobile before you start running ads. You want to make sure that everything looks clean and easy to read. If it feels messy or confusing, people won't stick around long enough to buy. Also, make sure that your pricing makes sense. Look at how much Zendrop is charging you for the item and shipping. Then set your price high enough to cover costs and leave room for profit. Usually a two and a half or three X markup is a safe place to start. So to go ahead and make sure that everything looks okay, let's come to online store and we'll click on this little eyeball here to go ahead and view our store. And we can come to our catalog and we'll look for the product that we just uploaded here. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Step four, testing the order flow. Now that your product is live, it's time to make a test purchase. Seriously, don't skip this test. Testing your own store helps you spot issues before real customers experience them. Buy the product like a regular customer would. Go through the checkout, pay with your own card and see how the process works. Then hop back into your Zendrop dashboard and make sure that the order shows up. You'll want to confirm that Zendrop processed the order, sent a tracking number and marked it as fulfilled once it's shipped. This can give you peace of mind and help you understand how everything works behind the scenes. Step five, order fulfillment. If you're on Zendrop's free plan, you'll need to fulfill orders manually. This just means clicking fulfill in your Zendrop dashboard when new orders come in. Zendrop will charge your card and then ship the item out. If you upgrade to Zendrop Plus by using the link down in the description to get 50% off, you can get it so it'll set to auto fulfill orders. That means you don't even have to log in. Zendrop handles everything automatically as orders come in. This is especially helpful if you're getting lots of orders every day and you want to save time. Also, Zendrop provides tracking orders for every order and it gets synced to your Shopify store automatically. That way your customers stay informed without you having to manually send them updates. So if we go back over to Zendrop and we come over here, there'll be orders on the left hand side. So when orders come in, they'll be right here. And if you're on the free plan, there'll be a little button over here called fulfill. And you'll just have to press that button every time an order comes in in order to fulfill the order. But again, if you upgrade to the plus plan, it does that all automatically for you. Step six, managing your store like a pro. Once your store is up and running, you'll want to stay on top of things. Check your Zendrop dashboard regularly to track order statuses, make sure items are still in stock and monitor your delivery times. And if you're getting multiple orders per day, you can use Zendrop's bulk fulfillment feature to fulfill them all at once. It saves a ton of clicking. Keep an eye on your top performing products too. If something's selling well, you might want to run more ads to scale it. If something's not getting any traction, don't be afraid to swap it out for something else. Step seven, boosting customer satisfaction. One of the easiest ways to separate yourself from other drop shippers is by improving your customer experience. Zendrop helps you with that too. If you're on Zendrop Plus, you can add custom thank you cards, branded packaging, and even custom invoices. These little touches go a long way. When a customer feels like they got something thoughtful in the mail, they're way more likely to come back and tell their friends. Also make sure to reply to customer messages quickly. Even if it's just to say, hey, I'm checking on this for you, it shows that you care. And if there's ever a delay or issue, be upfront about it. Transparency builds trust. Step eight, going further with Zendrop tools. So Zendrop isn't just about fulfillment. They've also got educational tools to help you grow your business. Zendrop Academy, for example, has training on things like picking the right products, branding your store, and running Facebook or TikTok ads. They also offer live coaching sessions every week for premium users. It's a great way to stay sharp, ask questions, and get advice directly from people who know the game. So is Zendrop worth using in 2025? If you're trying to build a drop shipping store that's simple, streamlined, and customer friendly, the answer is a big yes. It cuts down your workload, helps you ship faster, and makes your business look more professional. Just remember, Zendrop is a tool, not magic. You still have to do the work of picking good products, creating a solid store, and treating your customers well. But with the right approach, Zendrop can absolutely be the difference between a stressful business and one that actually runs smoothly. But that's it for this tutorial. If you found it helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. And if you're ready to get started with Zendrop, check out the links down in the description to take advantage of the discounts and bonuses mentioned earlier. This is an affiliate link, which means if you use it, we earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like
like this. So if you end up using it, thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we're dedicated to helping you succeed with e-commerce by providing tips, strategies, and insights to grow your online business, so be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you here in the next video.